Hi, I'm Will Gervais. I'm an assistant professor of social psychology at the University of Kentucky. Yeah, so it turns out people have really strong negative perceptions of atheists. And uh, we have a lot of research now suggesting that really what's at the heart of this uh, prejudice against atheists is a moral distrust of atheists. Um, so why do people distrust atheists? I think really this comes down to the, the fundamental nature of trust. So to say that you trust somebody, it means that um, you know kind of what they believe and what their norms are and how they want to act. Um, and in addition to that, it means that uh, you think that they're actually going to act in accordance with how they think they should act. Um, and religion is great at building trust. Uh, so for instance, if I'm religious, uh, I belong to a, a certain religious tradition, this means that I will have adopted many of the norms of my religious group. In addition, I, I probably believe that there's a morally concerned God who's monitoring my behavior and actually cares that I act in accordance with these beliefs. Um, so if we think of interactions between two people, um, let's say I'm a Christian uh, and I'm interacting with another Christian, I can guess what their norms and beliefs are because we share them. Um, I can also infer that they're going to act in accordance with those norms because they believe that there's a moralizing God uh, monitoring their behavior. Um, so it's easy to get trust between people of the same religious group. You can also get trust between people of different religious groups. So if I'm a Christian and I encounter a Muslim, I might not share all of, those, uh, all of their beliefs, but I can infer what their beliefs are. And similarly, I can infer that they believe that there's a moralizing God monitoring their behavior. Um, this leaves atheists in a bit of a pickle. So if I'm a Christian and I encounter an atheist, I don't know what they believe. I know that they don't believe in God, but I don't, I don't know if they like pizza, if they watch hockey, um, if they think that it's wrong to steal. I, I, there's nothing to fill in the blanks for me. In addition, since I know that they don't believe in God, this means that I'm going to be suspicious of um, sort of uh, whether they'll be able to inhibit their selfish urges. They don't believe that there's a supernatural agent out there monitoring their behavior and keeping them honest. So in a sense, um, I'm likely to view atheists as both moral wild cards, I don't know what they believe, and also people who are um, not necessarily motivated to act in accordance with whatever norms they hold. Uh, it's a double whammy.